All right, Rockstar Garage here. Uh, so I had made a video and I was like, I'm gonna make a quick and easy how to do a B8, S4, S5, whatever. I mean, pretty much any B8 exhaust swap. It takes about 20 minutes and it's been a while. So I missed a bolt, couldn't get it off. Missed another bolt. I kept adding to the video. I was at six or seven minutes. You guys would've killed me. It would've been super boring. Super boring and drawn out, so quick and easy. I'm trying to show you guys how it's done. Uh, Jack, Jack, my other buddy. Uh, this guy's Puerto Rican. Jack, stand. Some ramps, ramps on both sides, be safe. All right, so you got this. You have this crossbar with two, no, four 16s. You remove that. That's currently right there. I originally was gonna leave it filthy, but I just couldn't. So clean the bolts, clean that. I cannot stand caked on grime. And then <clears throat> we have two slip joints with 13. Everything is basically 16 or 13. So 13 millimeter, two, 13, uh, two 13s per side. So four 13s on the slip joints, you can slip that back. Then here's the part. I personally, I like to do, uh, I use a jack stand with a little towel on top to support the fuel, fuel tank because the strap is tied to the bolt. The bolt holding up the hanger is part of the strap. So you got on the, the tank side, it's two bolts, two 13 millimeter bolts. On back here, there are two more, but there are two, these are studs, which helps it all, it's easier to align. Slap it on there, put two 13 millimeter studs, or bolts rather, nuts rather. Cut the fan off. <clears throat> And then back here, same thing, but one, just one 13 millimeter, which was what threw me off. I forgot there were two on each hanger in the front. So hanger, don't try to pull these hangers off of the exhaust. You'll drive yourself nuts. They're really on there. Little WD-40 onto that little nipple, and the rubber will slide right off. And then you transfer it to your new exhaust. A 13, a 13. Also, these are posts up there, studs up there. So there's the, there's the nut. Once those are off, I like to rest a box or something under to take the weight of it, and then you can kind of just jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle, get her out. Picked up this, tried 90 millimeter tips. The 102s I have on the S4 are pretty and fine, and I bought them used, so it is what it is, but I kind of wanted to give these a shot. I'll give the 90s, I think they'll look classy on the on the S5. Picked up uh, on eBay, they said they were, it was a, you, you know, what's it called, scratch and dent or whatever, but I have not found any damage on the damn thing. So, so far, so good. So there she is. <clears throat> get her installed. And here are those beautiful tips. Kind of makes me want to get brand new ones for the S4 also, but not necessary. At least not. I got to decide what I'm going to do. What cars I'm keeping, what cars I'm selling. Currently, all I've been doing is buying and not selling. <laughs> 